Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use ESP Home to configure Ethernet and I2C device. And the most important, I will show you how to use ChatGPT to configure the ESP Home so that can save your time. And in this video, I have chosen this ESP32 board. Uh, this is a large one that is made by ESP32 module at here. And it has 128 uh, digital input and 128 digital output. So that you can see so much device on the PCB board uh, in front, and uh, this is the back uh, that have many different components on the PCB. So if you create this board, it takes many times to create the YAML file, but uh, maybe we have used the chat GPT so that we create this file fast. Uh, let's back to the home assistant. Uh, you can see this is the home assistant dashboard. Now we will step by step tell you how to create it. And this in our phone have just the ESP32 I/O pins defined, and you can see uh, that have I square C bus. This is PCF8575 that can extend the 16 channel for output or for input. So you can see we have used eight pics of this chip, and this is second. I square C bus that used for digital input. Uh, this time I just for example is digital output. And this is for the internet config. And this for S485 and this for extend the server part I have not used this time. So let's look at home assistant and I can create the ESP home and create a new device. And continue. And the name we can import a128 and press next and choose the ESP32 chip. We have used ESP32. Okay, this we can skip and we can edit this code and import the details. The default used by the Wi Fi. So I just not need to use Wi Fi. I want to use the Ethernet because it's so more stable. So you can see in our config YAML file. That I have already created. Uh, this is very long for this file. I have used the Arch Edit. You can see uh, this file for almost a total 256 channel of GPIO. So you can see the command, the totally is 2000. Uh, so it's really cost time to create this file. And then let's look at it here. And some command we just copy and paste and you can see the first we need to use i square c because it's external the chip you can see the schematic uh, this is schematic that have a esp32 and also we can see the pcb board firstly so you can see this have 128 channel output but the esp32 only have this a little GPIOs. So we need to use the chip to expand the GPIO. You can see that is I square C extend GPIO chip. And in our schematic, and you can see the ESP32 that I have used this SCL and SDA, SDA and SCL. So at first you can configure it. Just copy this I square C configuration, copy, paste it here so you can see the SDA and SCL as seen as our schematic at here. Uh, this is second I square C bus that is for input. Okay, the next. And this is configure the Ethernet. I can also copy and paste, copy and paste it here isn't it why this have showed the uh, red arrow because the wi-fi and the ethernet can't work at the same time so we need to delete this wi-fi config you can see i can delete it and delete it and delete it so all wi-fi config command line deleted so that the Ethernet will be work fine. And you can see the Ethernet chip. Also can see the schematic. 
uh, you can see the Ethernet uh, GPL22 and GPL23 and used for these two pins. And you can see these two pins have used. And this is the clock, the clock mode. We have used GPL17. You can see it here. That is GPL17 used for Ethernet clock. So about the Ethernet settings, just very simply, only this command. Okay, we can go to the next. And the next we can look at, that is define this chip and the S squared bus and address. And you will see that we have eight picks of chip used for output. So we can copy to ESP home. Paste it here. And different chip have different address. And you can see the schematic in S squared C that have the for the output, you can see the output, and the left is digital input. So you can see the different A1, A2 that have different connect with the ground and the power supply uh, 3 volt. So that consists with the different address, uh, different address, this address, this address. So you can see that have eight chips have different address and at here so that every chip have different address this address we have list in our form and you can see at here that every chip uh, what address have used so you just use it directly okay well we have defined this i square c chip and the next, we can create the switch. And the switch, almost you need to create a 128 channel. So you can see, I can copy this. Seventeen channel. Copy and paste it here. And the first time you need to write this code by yourself or you can copy from us so you can see i can use light one and define the first chip and the number of the pin is number one uh, this means the first channel began zero and the second channel it began one number one and the mode because we use the relay output so that you just set to the output and the inverted you can set to true so that turn on relay output, that will be on, unless that will be off. So I have created 17 channel in ESP home. Now we can save it and run it. We can click save and click install and download by the USB cable for the firmware. Okay, you can see the firmware have download. Now I can click stop and back to home assistant and click setting and click device and you will, hear, you will see uh, this have discovered a 128 bar and you can click config and click submit and finish and now you can see in our device that have list 128 so now we can go to the dashboard and create a new dashboard flow, uh, such as add this and A128 and press save and we, this will have a new page. And we can add a card and entities and a output and this we can Input light one, and you can see this have created the first and add this light two at here, and you can add the one, two, three until seventeen. So you can see also I can show this code. 
we can copy this code and paste that node page. And we can add the number three and the number four, but I need to add to until 17. It will cost time. So this time we can use ChatGPT to create it. We can open google.com and search ChatGPT and click. I have already created the ChatGPT account. So you can create by yourself and just login. And at here, we can paste uh, this code. At here, I want create this. I want repeat this entity from a light 1 to e light 17 okay you can see that have grid uh, from 1 to 17 so we can just copy this code copy and paste to my dashboard at here you can just paste and you will see the 17 have create okay we can click save and click down you can see now i have put 17 switch uh, let's test uh, in our board you can see this our a128 channel gpl board that have 128 channel output and 128 channel digital input and also you can see uh, this is the back and this body is very large now we can use the home assistant to continue it uh, because i have connected with the uh, power supply uh, for the most fit output that can output 12 volt if you connect with the 24 volt that every channel most fit will output 24 volt and now you can see i can turn on this really output one so you can see uh, uh, this one is on so you can see i can turn off i can turn on that 17 channel is on so you can see the 17 channel switch is on so you can see i can use this chat gpt to create the switch one to switch 17 and you can use this way to create the switch one to switch 128 channel for the yaman file okay thanks for watching